guys, for today's video, I'm going to talk about the topic of being overprepared. And it's especially relevant for me today personally because being overprepared really uh, saved me today. Um, as I've mentioned in the past video, I have an ostomy pouch, which is basically a medical device that catches waste that I expel from my body through a hole in my stomach. Um, and today what happened is on my way back from lunch, um, I was on a date with my girlfriend and the device malfunction, we'll say to put it nicely. So it needed to be changed and replaced. Now for me being over repaired, I always bring a backup device to change and replace the one I have on, even though realistically I've had a grand total of maybe five malfunctions in the past, let's call it two, three years, you know, something like that. So it's very, very unlikely it happens. It happens um, usually when I'm not emptying the medical device as often as I should be or doing physical activity, things like that. So I brought one with me just in case something happened and something happened. So being overprepared really kind of saved my butt today. And that's why I felt like I would just do a video to talk about the idea of how being overprepared is always, always, always so much better than being underprepared. It's always so much easier and more helpful and will just make life more, I don't know, efficient to be overprepared for pretty much any given situation. You can never, you, there's plenty of plenty of times where you'll be overprepared for something and you will leave whatever situation you're in and be like, yeah, I was overprepared. Whether it be um, preparing for a presentation and bringing your own four sets of the presentation you're doing and all that kind of stuff or going to a job interview and wearing a full suit and jacket with a tie, knowing that when you walk into the interview, it may just be a more casual button down shirt, no tie kind of environment. You can always pull off the jacket and look casual. Um, all those kind of over-preparedness things just are way, way better to be that way than the alternative where, for example, with me today, yeah, I only, the, the chances of my medical device malfunctioning is a, I don't know, 1% chance any given day. But in that 1% of time where it happens and I happen to have my backup with me, it just makes life easier. Same thing would go for the examples I gave where it's something like, oh, why would you go to a job interview with a jacket and tie when very few job interviews require you to wear a jacket? Well, what if you walk in and everyone in the office is wearing a jacket, you'll feel a lot, lot better about your interview if you are matching what everyone else is doing. Same thing with the presentations. I've had presentations go where I think I'll be able to use a PowerPoint presentation and then I go to the computer and the PowerPoint presentation is just taking too long to load, won't do something properly. So I jump to the PDF version so I get to scroll through it at least. Things like that are just what makes life easier. So point of the video is always over prepare rather than under prepare, save yourself a lot of headache in any annoying situation. So with that, I'll wrap the video up here. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode.